A couple days ago, Slate published an article titled, Craft Brewing Has a Sexism Problem. According to a man named Will Gordon, there are gross puns and derogatory illustrations on far too many beer labels. The misogyny needs to stop. I was going to look at this article earlier, but I just needed some time to make absolutely sure that this was not satire. I'm just going to jump around this article and look at some of the points made. The first marketing decision any business faces is a product's very name, and this is where too many craft brewers embarrass themselves and alienate potential customers. I would have thought that absolutely any name that is not generic is bound to put some people off and stand out to others. Does he have anything to say that this is actually hurting their business? One example he gave of a misogynistic beer was Raging Bitch by The Flying Dog Brewery. The thing that strikes me more than the name is the violence and gore on the label. Typically, that's not what you go for on things people are going to consume. These guys obviously know exactly what they're doing. They're not going to go, oh wow, some people might not quite be into this. We, we had no idea but that's just hypothetical. Obviously, it doesn't put too many people off, as on beeradvocate.com alone, there are 3,608 ratings, and on average, it gets a very good score. Now, while I am not female, which he says is the demographic this would put off, nor is he, and yet, he seems pretty damn put off, and has been for a while. Maybe it is just down to individual taste, and he is using women to reinforce his own opinion. Back to the Slate article, and he does provide an example of a beer being financially hurt by its name. Except, uh, this is because a man refused to stock it because he found its name inappropriate. About the beer called Happy Ending, one Adam Vavrick said, This label is about a female Asian sex worker manually stimulating a man to orgasm and cleaning up the ejaculate with tissue. Why is that appropriate on a beer label? Well, why is it not appropriate? If someone just didn't like Whitwood breweries and decided to say, Hobgoblins are not real, how are they appropriate to put on a beer label? I couldn't tell you why. As far as I'm concerned, anyone can put whatever the fuck they want on a beer label. I suppose I could argue that as marketing, it is aiming to grab attention, and it obviously seems to have done that, so it's pretty appropriate. This guy obviously doesn't think it's appropriate for his store, but that has nothing to do with anyone else, or it being universal universally inappropriate. Even if brewers don't care about doing the right thing, stop right there. Although you are not saying that they should be forced to change labels, this is the most old school argument for censorship there is. From the guy you were quoting asking people to justify its appropriateness, to saying getting rid of it is the right thing to do. The suggestion is that creativity, I know it's marketing, but this is still just creativity, it's a name and it's a picture, should conform to some kind of public morality. In my eyes, pushing for that kind of standard and having it accepted is just death for art. He continues with his other argument for them to be stopped. They ought to retire sexist beer labels for the sake of profit. I can't imagine that if they were having real trouble selling stuff and people were complaining, they wouldn't change it. If people are buying their product and they have a very unique kind of marketing, wouldn't it be kind of dumb to just scrap that? If they wanted to tap into the people put off by their labels, wouldn't they just have a different line on top of it? Sounds to me like all of his writing is just an excuse to get rid of stuff he doesn't like. He goes on to talk about how women drink nearly 32% of all craft beer sold in America, but there's nothing here to say that they are actually upset about this. He goes on to suggest that you might want to avoid pissing off women who recommend beer, because I guess they're too emotional to not judge a beer by its label. Jumping back to that older Deadspin article this guy wrote about raging bitch beer, he seems to also think that it would devastate a woman to be snickered at after saying one of these lewd pun beer names at a pub. My only real comeback to his argument that beers are misogynistic is that women, as a whole, are simply not as fucking pathetic as this guy makes them out to be. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions. I've got a little challenge for you guys in the comments. This guy is obviously really bothered by these kind of beer names. I think just destroying stuff is a bad idea. However, I would support adding more beer names. Stuff that balances it out. Beers based around things like erectile dysfunction, workplace injuries, and hairy bellies. If his examples are misogynistic beer names, I would like to see you guys come up with some misandrist beer names.